Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 16 minus x divided by x minus 4 is equal to x minus 10. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since this expression x minus 4 is in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 4. Now, if we multiply both sides by x minus 4, this implies that uh, square root of 16 minus x is equal to x minus 10 times x minus 4. Next, square root of 16 minus x is equal to x times x, x squared and x times negative 4, negative 4 x, negative 10 times x, negative 10 x and negative 10 times negative 4 plus 40. x square root of 16 minus x is equal to x squared, negative 4 x minus 10 x will become negative 14 x plus 40. Next, square root of 16 minus x is equal to, we want to write this expression as a perfect square according to this algebraic identity, a squared minus 2ab plus c squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. So, we write this x squared, x squared this uh, negative 14 x uh, can be written as uh, negative 2 times x times 7. So, to complete the square, we add uh, 7 squared here plus this 40 and because we have added here 7 squared means uh, 49. So, we subtract uh, 49 to balance the expression. Next, square root of 16 minus x is equal to, by using this uh, algebraic identity, this uh, x squared minus 2 times x times 7 plus uh, 7 squared will become x minus 7 whole squared minus 40 minus 49 will become 9. Next, square root of, uh, this uh, 16 can be written as uh, 9 plus 7 minus x is equal to x minus 7 whole squared minus 9. Next, square root of, we rearrange this expression as 9 minus x plus 7 is equal to x minus 7 whole squared minus 9. Next, square root of 9 from these two terms uh, we use negative sign before parenthesis. So, this will become negative times uh, x minus 7 equal to x minus 7 whole squared minus 9. Now, here we have x minus 7 and here we have x minus 7. So, we suppose that let x minus 7 is equal to m. So, this equation will become square root of 9 minus m is equal to m squared minus 9. Now, we find the domain of this equation to check the solutions. Since this 9 minus m is under square root, so this 9 minus m must be greater than or equal to 0. If we move this uh, negative m to the right hand side, then this will become 9 must be greater than or equal to m. It means uh, m must be less than or equal to 9. And this m squared minus 9, m squared minus 9 must be greater than or equal to 0. If we move this negative 9 to the right hand side, so m squared must be greater than or equal to 9. It means m 
must be greater than or equal to 3 and m must be less than or equal to negative 3. So, we have uh, two conditions to check the solutions of uh, this equation. Condition 1 is m must be less than or equal to 9 and second is uh, m must be greater than or equal to 3 and m must be less than or equal to negative 3. Now, let us continue by squaring both sides of uh, this equation. So, the square will be cancelled out with the square root and uh, at left hand side we are left with 9 minus n is equal to this expression m squared minus 9 whole squared. Now, we subtract m squared from both sides. So, 9 minus m minus m squared is equal to m squared minus 9 whole squared minus m squared. Now, we rearrange this expression as uh, negative m squared minus m plus uh, 9 is equal to we have difference of 2 square. So, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become m squared minus 9 plus m times m squared minus 9 minus m. Now, we use negative sign before parenthesis. So, this will become negative times m squared plus m minus 9 is equal to this expression m squared we write this plus m first plus m minus 9 times m squared then we write this negative m negative m minus 9 next we move this whole expression to the right hand side then this will become m squared plus m minus 9 times m squared minus m minus 9, this negative expression will become positive m squared plus m minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m squared plus m minus 9 and this expression m squared plus m minus 9 is common. So, we factor out this m squared plus m minus 9 and uh, in bracket left uh, this m squared minus m minus 9 plus 1 from here. In bracket left uh, m squared minus m minus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next m squared plus m minus 9 times m squared minus m this negative 9 plus 1 will become negative 8 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression m squared plus uh, m minus 9 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared minus m minus 8 is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 9 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 m is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 9 36. 36 plus 1 will become 37 divided by 2 times 1 2. So, from here we get uh, 2 values of m. m is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 37 
over 2 and m is equal to negative 1 minus root 37 over 2. Now, from this quadratic equation, m is equal to negative times negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 8 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next m is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square of negative 1 is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 8 plus 32. 1 plus 32 will become square root of 33 divided by 2. From here we get the other two values of m. m is equal to 1 plus root 33 over 2 and m is equal to 1 minus root 33 over 2. Now, to check these values of m, we use the domain. We have two conditions. The first one is m must be less than or equal to 9 and the second is m must be greater than or equal to 3 and m must be less than or equal to negative 3. first condition is uh, m must be less than or equal to 9 and the second is uh, m must be greater than or equal to 3 and uh, m must be less than or equal to negative 3. Now, this value of m negative 1 plus root 37 over 2 is approximately equal to 2.5. In this value of m approximately equal to negative 3.5. In this value of m 1 plus root 33 over 2 is uh, approximately equal to 3.4. And this value of m 1 minus uh, root 33 over 2 is approximately equal to negative 2.4. So, this value 2.5 is less than 3. So, this will be rejected. This value negative 3.5 is uh, less than negative 3, less than 9. So, this value of m is valid. This value 3.4 is uh, less than 9 and is uh, greater than 3. So, this is also valid and this value negative 2.4 is uh, greater than negative 3. So, this will be rejected. So, we have two valid values of n. Now, to find the values of x recall that we have supposed. We have supposed that x minus 7 is equal to n. We have supposed that x minus 7 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to this value, then this equation will become x minus 7 is equal to negative 1 minus root 37 over 2. When m is equal to this value, then this equation will become x minus 7 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 33 over 2. x will be equal to negative 1 minus root 37 divided by 2 plus 7. We write the denominator 1 and we take LCM of 2 and 1. LCM is 2. So, this expression will come here negative 1 minus root 37 plus 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times 7, 14 and x will be equal to 
negative 1 plus 14 will become 13 minus root 7 divided by 2. From this equation, we move this negative 7 to the right hand side, then x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 33 over 2 plus 7. And we write denominator 1 and we take LCM of 2 and 1. LCM is 2, so this 1 plus root 33 will come here 1 plus uh, root 33 plus 2 divided by 1, 2, 2 times 7, 14. And x will be equal to 1 plus 14 will become 15 plus root 33 divided by 2. So, we have two solutions of this equation.